everybody and welcome to my November planner setup video. This one's a little bit different than I've been doing the last couple of months. Um, I lost electricity in my craft room and my living room and uh, me and a friend of mine have been trying to figure out what's going on with that so I don't have to call an electrician and we think we're close to fixing it um, but what that means is that I don't have good light in my house to do the sort of piecing together setup videos that I've done the last couple of months. Um, so what I've got for you today instead is a talking flip through of my wallet, my school bullet journal, and my personal planner, and um, also some of the accessories and goodies that I'm using with my planners this month. And you'll still get to see the whole setup, all my setups, just not the process this time. Hopefully I'll be able to um, put one of those together again for you in December if I can get this electrical issue fixed. It's really weird. Um, but I'm gonna feel really accomplished if we're able to fix it. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, as always, please drop them down below and um, I'll see you soon. Hey guys, uh, here's my wallet set up for November. This is a Foxy Fix Spice Clove notebook in number zero compact. Um, it has cream stitching and dark brown neutral elastics. I have Dream embossed in the gold hollow foil. I think you can see the colors there and the Fox and Pip bow on the spine. Um, I've been using a Foxy Fix micro wallet for probably a year now and I just absolutely love the setup so um, every month I get out a different wallet and a different wallet insert to match the current month and I'm good to go so I've over the last year created a good little collection of these uh, the flower on the front is from fur and you uh, I'll link everything down below I've got an Ollie clip here on the front and I'll show you my setup real quick I don't do a ton of decorating in my wallet, but what's in here is uh, by Coco Daisy. In the front pocket right now, I just have my sheets uh, card. And always the very first thing in the dashboard is the Simon card that comes in the Planner Classified Kit. I just love it. And then in here also is a dot grid insert from Foxy Fix. This is just here in case I need um, to write something down and I am, you know, in a store and I just grabbed my wallet. Cause like if I go to the, if I go to the store after work, grocery store or something, um, I leave my tote bag in the car and I just take my wallet with me. So if I happen to need paper and pen, I'm covered. Um, there's also a journaling card on the other side of the dashboard. This is also from Coco Daisy. And then I have an Annie Plans Printables 2018 calendar in here. And all of the monthly decorations are also Coco Daisy. Part um, their washi, some of their little stickers. Um, and not much goes in this calendar. I don't really refer to this on the daily, it's just in here, like I said, if I'm out somewhere and all I did was take my wallet with me and somebody says something about a date or something that's gonna happen, I can look and uh, reference this calendar to see what's going on. Um, you know, the boxes are so small, otherwise it would be really impossible to keep track of much in here. So this is just sort of a, in case I need it on the go. I have my Foxy Fix wallet insert here. This is uh, Spice Turmeric. I have cards, uh, debit card and giant card here. My license is in this pocket and I keep change in the zipper side. Um, and then I have a plastic card holder from Amazon that keeps all of my insurance cards and things like that. Stamps go in this back pocket and cash fits perfectly in the large back pocket. My pen is from Brighton. Um, and I love these little small pens. I especially love that the charm, you can pull off the top and the charm is um, replaceable. So you can buy different color charms to go with different occasions or decorating schemes. And I thought this sort of golden color stone in here went perfectly for fall with turmeric. So I've got that pen there, it fits perfectly. And this is it, this is my wallet setup with Foxy Fix and Coco Daisy. The next thing I wanna show you is my bullet journal work planner. So this is a little bit larger. It's kind of hard to fit all the way in the frame. This is an A5 
um, Foxy Fix Perfect Fit Cover. The leather is Sugar Coconut. Um, I have Dream embossed in silver on the front, no spine embossing. Uh, and again, another Fur and You swag on the front to keep it pretty. And I keep this pen clipped in it. This is a Zebra Sarasa pen. I absolutely love it. It's metal and it has a nice weight to it and I just adore it. It's got a 0.5 gel ink in it and it's fabulous. I used to keep my work and home stuff all in one planner. And since I switched to the A6 rings, which I'll show you in just a little bit, um, it's not big enough to keep track of my to-do lists for work. So I had that planner open on my desk, but then I also had separate little sticky notes everywhere with all my to-dos on them. And I thought, okay, let me just have one work planner that's separate. So uh, I created this uh, bullet journal. This is a Leuchstrom uh, 1917 uh, dot grid notebook and it's hardcover so the back cover slips into the back cover of the perfect fit it's nice it has the slit cut in it so that the elastic for the notebook can be put on like that if you want i usually leave mine off because there's usually no point but you certainly could do that and then the front uh, cover is got the pockets and i just have some coco daisy dashboards um, put in here but for my bullet journal the there's a table of contents area in the front and I started to notate the pages that my monthly calendars would be on I need to go ahead, ahead and start putting in the uh, weekly pages as well because the October is done and then I start at the back with uh, notes student notes faculty meeting notes uh, conference notes I totally should not have shown that child's name let's skip over here pretend like you didn't see that uh, and then the first monthly um, layout is for October because uh, it was set the end of September was when I decided that I wanted to switch over to the system so I use uh, this large square stamp and the date stamps are from a set of foxy fix bullet journal stamps um, and they're perfect for laying out the month and then the decorative um, the days of the week, the leaves, and the Simon stamp. These are from the Coco Daisy October kit. So the items that are here in my boxes are work only. Um, so no personal things are here. And then I skip a page because this paper is so thin that you can see through. Um, and I wanted my next month not to have the shadowing from the previous month on the back. So I did leave enough pages where there was one blank page in between each monthly. Here's the November layout again the Foxy Fix stamps for the grid um, and the dates, the days of the week, and all the decorative stamps are Coco Daisy. And then I've left uh, enough pages in here. This will be December, January, February, etc., cetera, uh, until the end of the school year in June. And then um, for next school year, I'll start a new one for August. And then here is the beginning of my weekly section. So I've only been using this for two full weeks, but it's been working really well for me. Um, this is the format I'm going with. On the left page is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and these are scheduled items. So um, conferences, meetings, um, lunch duty, things that have to be done on a certain day or at a certain time. The right side is just my running to-do list. So items that like, you know, I'm like, oh, I need to da 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 but I can't do it that moment. What I used to write on post-it notes all over my desk is now on a running to-do list here. And then um, I set all the boxes up ahead of time and then just fill them in. And as I do them, I check them off. These items here that are unchecked from uh, last week got then put over to this week. Um, this was the current week of Monday the 29th through Friday the 2nd. And again, my scheduled items are here and my running to-do list is here. Um, these items that are not checked off here were all things that I was thinking Friday afternoon I need to do tomorrow on the teacher work day and I just didn't want to forget them. So I wrote them all down because I didn't have the next week set up yet. Then I came home uh, yesterday, Saturday, and went ahead and set up the next week. There's my Hello November marker. And then I transferred all those things over there, plus a couple of more. Um, 
So here's typically, you can see like before the week begins, I've just got a few boxes in each day. I go ahead and do all the boxes on this side and then all I have to do is write and check, write and check, write and check. Um, the washi tape is from the current month's Coco Daisy kits. So when all these pages are done, you'll be able to see which months go together because I use the same washi for all the weeks in a certain month. Um, and then this will just be how it goes weekly. We'll go from the front and then from the back when I need to put in notes like from the faculty meeting or whatnot, um, that was a conference, then I add those things from the back and somewhere uh, in the middle they'll, they'll meet. I think I have enough pages in here to do all of the weeks and still have uh, pages left over. This should be the perfect size for a year, but we will see how it goes. So that is my plan for work. Stay tuned to see my home planner. And here is my personal planner. Um, this is a Foxy Fix ring binder in the A6 size. I have another beautiful fur and you swag on the front. Um, this is Spice Lemongrass. I have the word laugh embossed in gold on the front and of course the fox and pit bow on the spine. And let me show you all the sections in my planner. So since I didn't do a setup video for this month, I'm doing sort of a long talking flip through instead. So this is gonna take a little while to get through all the sections, but then this way you'll see everything that's in my planner this month. Um, my pockets usually just contain, uh, here's the November calendar card if I need to quickly check a date and just a pretty uh, patterned cardstock paper. Um, I usually tuck in one or two journaling cards that I find to be either pretty or have nice quotes on them. And then this was a card that I just um, punched the edge with, a decorative edge, so that when it stuck out here, you can see how pretty it is. And the front of my planner is always uh, an art piece that I create from the back cover of the standard Dory booklet. Since Coco Daisy does not make uh, ring insert pages for a six size, I get the standard Dory booklet and I cut it down take the cover off, take the staples out, cut all the pages down to fit. And I like this cover that has Coco Daisy embossed on it. And since March of this year, um, I've been creating little art pieces out of the front cover, the back cover rather, out of the die cuts that come with the kit. Um, these little glitter dots were part of actually October's kits. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's just nice. I like to have something pretty when I open my planner. So that's always the first thing. And then I've got just a card put on the back. This month I created this pocket out of a piece of the acetate that came with the kit. So the acetate comes in one large sheet. I folded it and creased it as best I could, ran it through my laminator and then cut off, slit the top so that there was a pocket here. And I have some pages from the notepads that came in the kit to here. The full notepads are a little bit too thick for me to carry in here, but being able to have just a few pages and when I run out, I'll just add more pages. Um, I really like how this turned out. And then on the back, I have some of the sticky notes that came in the kits. This one is from October, but it's perfect with November too. And those are just stuck there. And I use those in my monthly layout, as you'll see in a moment. My first section is personal section. Uh, these are top loading dividers from Type A for Alexa on Instagram. Um, she makes these beautiful dividers. You can choose your paper, you can choose the edging, you can choose to have top tabs or side tabs. Um, they're really fantastic. I bought a gold set and a silver set and I'm already thinking of a few more that I want. Um, but my personal section is first. This right here is the standard Dory booklet that I've cut down. And I've divided it up into a couple different sections. I've used a tab here. The first section is for gratitude. And I go to the divided part and I use the date stickers from the planner add-on kit. And I take my planner to bed with me every night and right before I turn out the light and go to sleep, I jot down something that I'm grateful for that day. And it's kind of a nice way to end the day and go to sleep. So here's the beginning of the month. And this goes up until the 20th. And then after this section of gridded pages comes a bunch of pages that are either lined or blank like this. Um, 
and then it starts up again with another divided section, this time with a dot grid, and I picked up the dates here to finish off the gratitude till the end of the month. So the middle section, I sometimes am not sure what to do with, but this month I decided to make a step tracker here in the middle. So um, I want to get some more exercise. So I used uh, leaf stamps from one of the Coco Daisy kits this month, and I've numbered each leaf for a day of the month. And then on the back side here is my uh, key for what color, uh, what the colors mean. So I'm hopeful that I'll have more orange and red up in the higher steps. Right now I haven't been walking too much, um, but I definitely want to do that more of that. So I thought this was a prettier way than just writing down numbers. Um, so that's my step tracker, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these other pages. Maybe I'll collect quotes or do handwriting practice. Um, I haven't really thought about it. Sometimes I don't do anything with them. I just leave them plain. It just depends. And then again, here's where I'm finishing off my gratitude. And then there are more pages at the back. Um, one more set of pages at the back that's just blank. So I'm thinking handwriting practice maybe. I found a, um, a quote book or a quote challenge for handwriting practice. We'll see. I'll decide what to do with that later. Um, but that's the end of the Dory booklet. My next section is for my monthly view. So here's my divider that says month. And I also use some of the Coco Daisy paper and uh, dividers or tabs rather because I just love the tabs. This is the end of the September month. I took out the beginning of it. There was October and here is November. Um, this is a printable from Peanuts Planner Co. And I have the whole year in here. You'll see those in just a minute. But I use uh, all Coco Daisy decorations. So the date um, across the top, the large strips of washi. These two little skinny washies are from Simply Gilded. But the larger washies are from Coco Daisy. The leaf stickers, this quote stamp uh, that I wrote a quote on, and these little hearts and whatnot. Those are all from Coco Daisy stickers. Um, and this calendar has personal stuff. So it has my mom's birthday and when my blog is due and which Coco Daisy uh, planner challenge prompts I'm taking the lead on. And then I did put, you know, I put down my work, teacher work days and which day I'm voting and then the holidays and Thanksgiving break and stuff like that. So personal um, to do's and things go in here. And then the rest of the calendars are blank because I decorate them as the months come, but I have sticky notes on here with um, all the dates of, of things that I already know are happening that I need to remember. So those are just out until there. Um, I use this um, binder clip with elastic hot glued on it for my pen loop. And I'm using this month this uh, pen from Pen Gems, which is one of my favorites. This was one of the coffee collection pens from a year or two ago, and I just adore it. Um, my bookmark here I made from decorative paper and a journaling card and a tab that came in the Coco Daisy kit. Laminated, punched the holes, and then I slit through the holes so that it's easy to just pop in and out without having to open the rings. So that's helps me to easily find this month. Then comes my daily plans. So this is a divider that says plans and another card, daily to-dos. And then here are the inserts that I use for my daily plan. So this is uh, from Peanuts Planner Co. again, and it's a week on four pages. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There's today, Sunday the 4th. And I added this little piece on with washi tape as a tip-in. So one thing I love about the ring-bound pages that Coco Daisy makes is they always include this beautiful page of stripes. And the Dory booklets do not contain this. So I get the personal ring-bound pages solely so that I can have these striped pages. And I... This is the personal, came from the personal, so it was a little bit wider and it was a little bit taller. So I cut it down to fit and I washi taped it in here as sort of like a meal tracker, sort of a food log. 
Um, so I'm trying to keep track of the things that I eat so I can enter them into my Weight Watchers app in the evening. And then I was starting to track my hydration. You can see I didn't do so hot. And this is where I was putting the steps before um, the beginning of the week was still October before we switched over to November and now I'm coloring in the leaves instead. Um, but I just, I love these pages because they're simple and you can, as you already know, I'm a fan of the to-do list and just having a basic to-do list really works for me. So I use the Coco Daisy stamps to decorate and the washi and that's basically it. And I love how these pages turn out. They're easy to read, easy to see, easy to check things off of. Here's today, I've got a bunch of stuff to do once I get done with this video. Um, and then I made another bookmark the same way as the other one. So I'll take this out and move it over to the next week. Here is next week's pages done. I decided to actually use some of the stickers this time from the sticker kit. Uh, just hand wrote the days in again with washi and stickers. And um, I just, I like this simple setup. It really works well for me. Uh, here's what the pages look like blank. They're just very basic. You can really do whatever you want with them. So this is ready to go. And then at the end of my uh, planner pages, I have a tracker section. So this print, this printable is from Annie Plans, and this is what the pages look like blank. I just put a little bit of washi right there for November and put the letter stickers and wrote the dates in and the things that I wanted to track. Um, and every night just, you know, cross off the ones that I do. I'm not doing very well with getting off soda. I really need to get myself off soda. Ugh. Um, I made this cute little fox bookmark so that I could easily find the tracker. I uh, just look for the little ears sticking out of the top. This was from uh, the Coco Daisy piece of acetate. It was a large piece that had all foxes printed on it and it was, it was a little nerve wracking to cut it up because you know, once you cut into it, there's no going back. But I just had this idea in my head and it thankfully it turned out well. I cut out three of the foxes and stacked them on top of each other and laminated it. And then I did the same thing with punching the holes and cutting the slits um, so I could take this out if I wanted to. Uh, so there's the, my November tracker. I'm hoping to get a little bit back on track later this month. And then my next section is for social media. And really, I'm not like that hugely social media like savvy, but what I mainly want to keep track of is the Daily Fox photo challenge and the Coco Daisy planner challenge. So I have the week's prompts written down and every evening I mark off the ones that I've done. Um, and I have this cute little bookmark from Made with Love Crafter, Trisha Romo. Isn't that adorable? It's a little kitty cat. So I can easily find that page. Here are next week's pages all ready to go with the prompts. Um, this is also from Peanuts Planner Co. Here's what it looks like blank. It's called a content planner. And then I have expenses, a section for expenses, so I can try to get a grip on my spending. I buy too much planner stuff. I've got several entries for today that need to be put in here and then I need to chill out with the money. Um, here is again what those look like blank. I have a bill tracker back here. This is from Annie Plans, and I'll show you what it looks like blank. It looks like this, um, and I just, you know, track my, when I pay my bills every month, just write them in here. It helps me to look back and see, you know, when they're going up or down or what have you, and just to make sure I don't miss any. Some of them are automatically withdrawn, but some of them are not, so don't wanna miss one. And then finally, I have a shop coupon codes insert, which is also from Annie Plans. Um, and those pages look like this. And um, I probably should use this insert less, but I like to do the planner shopping, what can I say? So I don't keep anything in my back pocket usually, or the large pocket back here, um, unless something comes up you know, in the moment and I need it. Um, but there you go, there is my planner set up for November. It is not wildly different from my other month setups. My bookmarks are getting all tangled in here. These are just decorative, but they're so pretty. I like them hanging out the bottom, so I use those. Um, this one, I don't think I mentioned, is from Mary Kay at Calibri Charms. I love that one. I love all the sparkles and the different colors. So that goes right there. 
and there we go that is my basic planner so you'll notice that when i'm just normally carrying this around i do not have all the doodads and clips sticking up out of the top of it i will show you how i keep those with me in just a moment all right and finally i'm going to show you all my accessories for the month um this is the tote bag that came with the september coco daisy kit and I had my lovely friend Deanna Perry at So So Sweet Stuff convert this into a zipper pouch for me. And it fits my A6 rings perfectly. She did such an amazing job. So my planner goes in here in my tote bag to work with me every day so that it doesn't get jostled around and messed up. Also in my tote bag goes this bag, which is the pouch that came with this month, uh, November's Cocoa Daisy Kit. I've attached the um, planner charm to the zipper. But here I have just sort of tools that I take with me every day, just in case I need them, which let's face it, I usually don't. But I also like to keep all of these things handy with me when I sit down to plan. So having them in a bag means all I have to do is grab the bag when I want to sit at the coffee table or the dining room table or whatever and do planning. So I have two pencils in there. I have my X-Acto knife. I have my six inch metal ruler, a compass, a pencil sharpener, my set of four Stadler pigment liners. Tweezers. These are really handy for picking up and putting down little stickers to get them placed properly. A set of embroidery scissors that have a little bit of a sort of a fat blade, as you can see. Those are good for fussy cutting. And then this set of really skinny bladed scissors. These are from Warm Crochet, and they're so pretty. This filigree is just lovely and an eraser. And so these items also go with me in my tote and travel around with my planner. And then finally, I have my box of goodies. So this is a photo case uh, from Michaels. It's, I think it's five by seven. And every month, one of my favorite things of the month to do is at the beginning of the month, go through all of my clips and accessories and pick out all the ones that I think will go with the month that I wanna use and put them in this and when I, some of them are decorative, a lot of them actually, let's face it, are decorative. They don't stay in my planner all the time because in this bag, they're gonna come out, they're gonna fall out. So I'm not gonna lie, I use them most of the time for photo props, but they just make me so darn happy that, you know, I don't consider it wasteful. So I'll just show you a few of the things I have in here. I've got my Coco Daisy, Simon and Betty. Those are gonna stay with me through the whole winter, I think. Um, I have a selection of Alice bows from the Amazing Lamb at Peony's Papery. She is the original creator of this style of bow. Others have tried to copy her, but she is the original, and I love them. Um, this bow is also actually from her. Let's see, do I have anything else from Lamb in here? I'm not sure. Um... This sunflower and these acorns are from Katie Jo Collections. I have two other acorns. One is purple and one is, I want to say, an aqua color um, that I just didn't put in here because I wanted the November colors. And then along with the beautiful swags on the front of my planners, the lovely Lisa Forsyth um, makes these, all of these amazing clips at Fur and You, I have all of these colors, large and small, and she is also the original creator of this style of clip. There are people out there copying this, but she is the original and has spent a lot of time developing this idea, so I love her, Shop with Fur and You. My little fox clip I've had forever, he comes from Pigtails and Pockets and I just adore him. He's just all curled up for winter. This clip also came with Coco Daisy kit this month, so that is in here as well. This little clip is from Lily and Lola Co. And this came in actually the Fur and You anniversary box, but I'm so in love with this little bow that I just placed an order with her for a few more uh, winter bows. 
And I have two pops from the amazing crystal over at the Peach Palmetto. Um, these are amazing. They are hard to get. She is in such high demand and she's a one woman show and she is just the mad maker of pops. Um, they are fantastic. They are heavy duty. They are just gorgeous. This one in the sunlight, you would not believe the sparkle. Um, and I feel incredibly lucky to have these two and one other that my friend Cheryl gave me that's blue. So those are in here. This clip little dangly clip with the pumpkin. This also comes from Fur and You. Lisa sent that to me. I have this little kitty cat clip from Made with Love Crafter. Um, I think this little purple ball might have come from uh, Colibri Charms. My friend Cheryl gave that to me and I'm not quite sure where she got it. This white palm I think is from Peony's Papery. And then these little bow clips, which I just adore, are from a shop called The Yellow Key. Um, Miriam is the name of the owner and she has just announced that she is about to close down her shop. I don't know if it's permanent or temporary, um, but I, I love those little clips. I'm so glad I got them. And I have this one other little dangly clip with a little daisy on it. I just, these little dangle clips with the little teardrop clips are my absolute favorites. I love them. Uh, here's my initial Scrabble tile clip. This is from Sweet Lemon and Lime. And I cannot even begin to remember where this little gray clip came from. I wish I could. I'm sorry. If it comes to me, I'll let you know. Um, and then I just have a few random clips in here in case I need to hold pages open. Um, so this is my goodie box. And my goodie box travels with me. And it keeps all of my clips... Um, I wouldn't say organized really, but it keeps them all safe and they don't fall off. They don't get destroyed. When I need one, I can pull one out. And this is just a fabulous little box of goodness. And it is fun to go through my stash every month and pick out all the ones that I want to use for the month that go with my planner. There you go. So boom, there's that. Um, and guys, that is it. That is my complete and total planner setup for November. There's everything. I will try to tag all the stuff, link everything down below. If there is anything that you have a question about, please do feel free to ask. Thanks for being with me today. Have a great afternoon.